What's up everyone? We're back on tour. We're so stoked to be out here playing live shows for you all again. I've been getting a lot of questions about my new kit. I'd like to start with my good buddy Casey Grillo. He does all my logo heads and uh, his company's called Drum Static. Everything you've seen on any corn tour from probably 08 till now has been Casey. So this is our new Requiem cover, of course. This hoop right here is from a company called SJC. They're buddies of mine. And I like the just different look of the extended hoops on here. Just gives it that extra kind of powerful look. All the rack you see is from DW Drum Workshop. They're amazing at making racks. Uh, all my pedals and hardware are DW. They're quite amazing. I've been with them you know, some time now. Pearl drums, of course. This, this tour, I'm using the reference. Um, they're called maple gum shells. So they're, they're super thin. They're mostly for studio recordings, but they sound amazing live. And I just wanted to try them out. We got custom lugs done. This, all this uh, custom paint you see right here is from RC Refinishing and they're super awesome at making whatever you want. I just wanted something a little different looking the red on black lugs with the chrome finish on there. This beast of a stand right here as you see is from my buddy Sean. He's uh, nicknamed Mr. Saw Bladehead and <laughs> he makes some just unique stuff man. You know this this guy went away for a couple tours but I love it so much we brought it back out. It's been painted probably four times and it looks like freaking heart aortas right now coming out of here. And the fan gave me this doll. That's why you keep seeing this up there. I can't seem to take him down. He just hangs out with us. Sabian Symbols, of course. I've been with Sabian. It's been my longest endorsement. They gave me my first shot back in 1993. With, I was in a band called Wicked Alliance with Jakey Lee. Sabian's been with me through thick and thin, through my club days, to the arenas, to stadium. So, All right, so here's the driver's seat. This is what I see every day and every night. Here's my signature stick, Grey Luzier model Vic Firth. And we went through many different sizes and variations. I still love the stick so much. Acorn tip, rounded butts. Um, they're just super, super strong and so balanced. They're super balanced. So check those out on VicFirth.com. Remo drum heads, another one of my longest endorsements. On this tour, we're using the clear Emperors. And uh, I have Emperor X's on my snares, mainly because I don't really hit light. Uh, if you guys see me with corn, I hit very hard. These heads withstand. I've never broke one, knock on everything. I've never broke a snare head during a show. And uh, they take a lot of abuse. So Remo's I've been with forever. Yamaha, I use their ETX pads. Been using them for years. There's a lot of different products out there that dampen drums, but these new Sky Gel, uh, they're just so great. And I have my own signature ones uh, that are wine red. These are the actual red ones. Um, from the company, but they match my kit more than my wine ones do, so we're using these. A little bit more on the new Maple Drum series, uh, Pearl Drums. So everything's custom on the kit size-wise. I have 7x10, 7x12, 7x13, 16x16, 16x18, and the big gong back here is 14x20. A little side snare, um, 5x13, and I'm using this Follow the Leader Anniversary Snare that my friend Kikasso and RC Refinishing also done. Everyone's asking me why I'm joining two kicks. It looks really cool. <laughs> That's why. It's just super powerful looking. I've always envied Eric Carr and Alex Van Halen for those long kick drums. So the last tour we had acrylic drums that were 24 by 24. These are actually 16 by 24 attached to a 14 by 24. Next, we have the almighty Jerry Harvey Audio. I love JH. I've been using him for many, many years. He's a good buddy of mine. I love the company. Great, great quality ears. I'm using the Layla's and they just sound phenomenal. Um, I have my son's faces on them, which is pretty cool. Just phenomenal sounding. If you get the right monitor guy and right mixes, it sounds like a dang CD. So love JH. Okay, next we have the Porters and Davies BC2 textile monitor. A lot of people say like, okay, you have your in-ears. It sounds really great. How do you feel the low end? This makes you feel the low end. When you hit the kick drum, the floor toms, the low end of the bass, these things are unbelievable. I highly recommend you checking them out. Okay, now we have the amazing Kelly Shoe miking system. So it's a suspended mic in there, in the kick drum. So it's awesome because there's no stands involved. It literally suspends itself from the lugs. So I have one of those in the kick drum and one in the gong, and uh, they're just an amazing system. Check those out. And lastly, I'd like to thank my boy, Gene Provencio right here. That's right, he's the guy that puts up with me and puts up with all of this gear every day. Everyone always says like, God, I hate to be that guy's tech. Well, that's him. And also, he assembled this whole thing for me. 
this guy makes it sound great and uh, helps me sound really great. So, yeah.